Hello guys, here is Kamil from Nebia. Welcome in our new video. We are at Meet and Greet at Mr. Olympia 2020 in Orlando. As you can see, we are going to talk with uh, all of the athletes and we will ask them what would they recommend to somebody that would like to one day compete at Mr. Olympia. So let's ask them. So my the best advice that I can give anyone looking to compete at such a big show, an important show, is to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you are never going to go anywhere. You know, when I first started competing, I was 16 to 17. And I always said, my very first show, I said, I'm going to go on the stage, and one day I'm going to be at the Olympic stage. So I believe in myself, I believe in my potential, and today I'm here. So if I'm here, you can be too. My advice to somebody who wants to eventually compete at the Olympia one day is just to have a plan and execute with purpose. Um, if you keep your sights on where you know you want to go, then every action that you take will lead you one step closer to that, and eventually you'll get there. You start from the very, very bottom and just work yourself slowly up. Um, don't take anything for granted and go ask for feedback and work on that feedback. And don't let yourself bring down or just drop down, just like take the feedback, get back home, work on it, come back and do it over and over again. And never give up, never give up. If one day you want to compete in Mr. Olympia, just keep training. Find a really good coach and literally give it your all. You know, if there's days where it goes bad or, you know, competition ends up where you don't want it to, or you don't get the place that you want, keep at it. Just don't quit. My recommendation for somebody who would like to compete at uh, Mr. Olympia one day, if that's your I'm goal, I'm ready you know, to being consistent and with your routine, with your regimen, we all know that's that's a, a must, you know. Um, but you got You got to really improve, you know, your physique every single time. Um, I would tell them to remain self-disciplined. That's the only way you're yes, gonna ever reach your goal. No. Um, because we all <laughs> go through sprouts of getting motivated, um, but that's gonna die down. And once that dies, dies down, what do you have left? You know, if, um, you gotta stay self-disciplined and um, to be able to reach no, your goal. I don't, and I if you wanna compete in Mr. Olympia, no. that's what it's gonna take. My recommendation is start wherever you are in your journey and focus on yourself. Take it one day at a time. Try not to get overwhelmed with how far you have to go. Just focus on each day at a time and get the job done every single day. Wake up tomorrow, do the work again tomorrow. And eventually you're going to look back and be like, wow, how did I get here? Consistency and hard work is what it takes. Realistically, competing in general is hard. So just to get to the Olympia, that I wouldn't say that should be everybody's ultimate goal, but let's just say it is. You have everything in your power to do just what you need to do in order to get here. It might not take overnight, but there's nothing stopping you from getting here. The only person that's stopping you is really yourself. So if that's your dream and that's what your goal is, don't stop and do whatever you need to do, whether it's easy or not. I can tell you right now it's not going to be easy to get here. For anyone that wants to one day be on that Mr. Olympia stage, you just got to get started. So many people have the dream, but they don't put anything into action. But we all start somewhere, including me. I was a fan for years, just in awe of the Olympia. And then I got started in the sport, started competing. And now I'm the current two-time Miss Fitness Olympia and loving this. Never would have thought it would have been possible, but I just got started. It's the only thing you got to do. What would I recommend them? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, if you, you know, uh, that's a really good question too. So, you know, if you want to be, uh, it's crazy. I mean, this is that the, when I say it even to myself, you know, like the top 20 bodybuilders say in the entire world, like that's where I am right now. And it's, it's crazy to think that, but uh, I think that if you're going to go along this journey, just make sure that you're in love with it because uh, don't do it for the wrong reasons. Um, I know some people do a lot of jobs, they take this or that for a paycheck. This is not the sport for, uh, for that. So, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of suffering, it's a lot of um, even being selfish, man, because, you know, you have to uh, do everything in your power to be your best, and sometimes that takes selfishness. And, yeah, so I think uh, if you're in love with the sport, um, go along with it. 
just keep progressing, do your level one show, do your level two, you know, go after that pro card and uh, just take your time, enjoy yourself and uh, I'll see you at the Olympia. It's easy, but uh, it's not easy. It's easy to say it, but hard work and many years and everything, so. But I would not recommend anyone to try it because it's really hard work. My recommendation for anyone uh, getting into the sport and they and you want to do competition one day is just, you know, find some type of consistency. That's all what it is about. You have to be consistent. You can't train sometimes and sometimes not. You can't train how or you can eat healthy and sometimes not. So be, you know, consistent with what you're doing. Uh, find a coach. It would be good to have someone. Uh, who's knowledgeable, who can, uh, you know, do your diet plans, say your training plans and, and help you along on those kind of tracks. And then just uh, be patient and uh, keep on just training and having belief. Um, first, you got to have dedication. You got to make sure you get, it, get your proper rest. You make sure you stay on top of things and you detox and and, and do all the hello. most important okay. things. It's oh, not good. all about That's working good. out all the time. You know, it's a big part of working out, but take care of you. You know, but you gotta learn how to, yes, you know, no, no, pace yourself no, 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 no. instead of trying to get gigantic all at once. You want to do things slowly. Okay. Um. So anybody that is, you know, thinking about trying to compete or do the Mr. Olympia, I would definitely say to pursue that with full force. I mean, your dreams are up to you, you know what I mean? So if that's something you want to do, I definitely would say find you a coach, find you some motivation and determination and stick to it and don't stop until you can make it happen. Patience and consistency, like we need to, it takes time, you know, don't rush the things, uh, lift it heavy, be disciplined, and yeah, that's it. Um, I mean, anything you want to do in bodybuilding is like you have to work hard. You have to, um, I mean, you have to be honest with yourself. If you feel like you have the potential, you have the physique, because not everybody have the, um, have the, the physique for it. So I'm not going to say every single person that wants to make it to the Olympia, uh, this is what I have for you. But first you have to... Um, to realize and be honest with yourself and see okay I have the potential and if you do have the potential then the main thing that's gonna get you there is hard work because at this level the Olympia level we all have potential so it's all up to whoever which one of us gonna outwork the other one so at this level when you if you want to get to the Olympia you got to be ready to bust your butt because that's what's gonna get you there because at this level, the poor level, we all got potential, we all got genetic, we all got the goods. So the only thing that's going to separate one from the other is your work ethic. So I'll say focus on your work ethic. That's the number one thing you need. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> so for any fitness competitor that's wanting to come to the Olympia and compete, there's so many divisions that you can choose from. You have women's fitness, bodybuilding, you have men's bodybuilding, classic. So there's a division literally for everyone. As long as you put your heart into it and try your hardest and believe in yourself, you can be here too and you can compete. The recommendation is just to be consistent. Believe in yourself and uh, don't fall off the wagon. If you do fall off the wagon, uh, get back up and get started again. Uh, Definitely, you can believe all you want, but if you're not doing the actions, you're not doing the work every single day, then it's not gonna happen. Be consistent, have fun. This is a 24 seven, you live with the sport, you live with the training, the eating, it's not, the, the stage time is this small, it's like the whole year, so I will give advice to be consistent, have fun, and do as much as you can, and um, of course, take it serious if you want to reach a goal. I always used to say, just do it. Um, but my biggest advice, have fun and enjoy what you're doing because it's, it's a lifestyle. It's a hard sport. It takes uh, a lot of effort to get there. And uh, it's a mind game in the end to get down in that fat percent. It's, it's hard. It's really hard. But uh, if you love it, you do it. <laughs> Guys, I just want you to know that um, 
she is the reason why I'm here in hoodie and not in the t-shirt because I would be <laughs> shame walking around in the t-shirt. Can you give us the double front? Yep, yep. You see I disappeared. <laughs> Thank you so much.